So all of y'all are um, filming your week in my life of online uni and um, I love it. I love watching them. Don't get me wrong. It just seems that most of y'all study STEM subjects or, you know, you've got lecture slides that you write notes on and then you have a reading to go with the lecture. It's all just nice, nice and neat and uh, adaptable for this online uni world and I I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy you got these systems in place. But I study a Bachelor of Arts in screen production and drama. Film and theater in broad terms. A and how am I supposed to do online uni? Hmm. Usually the first thing I do in the morning is I get back into bed and I scroll on my phone. But now I'm filming on my phone, so um, so I guess I'm just gonna have to... So I do this little like sleep slash mood tracker. I like to kind of track how my mood is and then like compare it to my sleep to see if there's any correlation. I've been doing it since like quarantine started so it's interesting to see like all the mood swings that I've been having and if they relate to my sleep or my period or yeah. I have a class at 12. Uh, but before that, I have a meeting f with an actor for this show that I'm producing, and I also have to do a bit of work for that show, which means that I'm not going to have time to make my lunch. So I'm just going to do it now. We waiting. We waiting. I'm vlogging today. Wow. Yeah. I'm not actually this short. <laughs> I'm taller, <laughs> so <laughs> relatively. Uh -huh. organizing uh, some tasks that I have to do for the theater show that I'm producing. Producing is something that I'm still relatively new to, but I'm probably going to try make some videos about it in the future to pass on the <laughs> to pass on the knowledge that I do have. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, like organizing and producing theater shows, then uh, stick around. The class is about to start, and there's this man. Sir, you're ruining my mojo. Uh, oh. Hi, Karen. What do you see as the challenges getting to a step out line? Uh, yeah, I, um, I think I'm one of the ones who needs to figure out how I'm gonna convey my backstory. The men are now leaving. And I'm covering my mouth so that my Zoom class doesn't see me talking. Bye, men. Thanks for, I don't know, creeping me out. Thanks for hanging in through all of this crazy stuff. Hopefully you'll feel re-energized and hopefully we'll see each other in person in a couple more weeks. Thank you, Karen. Right. We everybody super appreciate good? you as well. Thanks. All right. Everybody have a good afternoon.
See you later. Uh, see you all next week. Sending hugs. Bye. 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 Oh, she is so cute. She is the best lecturer that I have for online uni. And she's not even a lecturer. Like, this is her first time ever teaching a uni course or teaching anything ever. And she's doing amazing, especially in this COVID society. Props to you, Karen. same exercise in the mask rather than I think much more sentimental than the 16th or 17th century 16th or 17th century style was so the style itself and the history of commedia has developed now i saw masks that were very very earthy and commedia like just finished my last zoom of the day and it was for drama and it was just like a little workshop for my assessment that's on friday where we have to present our masks that we made at home during the lockdown long story short i haven't started it's just hard like being at home on your own and trying to like figure out a character on your own this is it was supposed to be like a commedia character mask exercise but because we didn't have any access to the commedia masks thanks to good old covid we had to like make our own and now we have to present them and commedia is just a very particular style of working which i haven't really properly learnt over zoom so it's been a challenge to say the least but now I'm going to come up with uh, something to do for my presentation, for my assessment of this character who I don't even have the name of. Gang Gang. Oh yeah, okay, I'm liking this. This is good. I'm going to turn off the camera now because I'm vibing. It's kind of weird. I kind of feel like I still have to be the character. While I'm in this mask. Okay, we're going to watch the Drama 202 show now. We can't wait. Brian is also here. Brian is there. Juice. And Rena. So uh, this is the end of my vlog. Bye bye. Sanitize your hands and sanitize your sands. <laughs> <laughs>17 minutes late, but I'm gonna have no energy if I don't eat.
started, I think. Or it might still be the warm up. Take a water break. I need a sip of water. Oh my god. Oh my god. So thank you very much. Take a warm shower. Tomorrow morning you might have difficulties waking up. It's okay. Please don't blame me for it. Until we meet again Tuesday, Friday. All of you are amazing. Take good care of yourself. And please do this at home. Thank you. <sighs> okay. That class was half an hour too long for my weak ass. They fixed the hot water in my building, so I'm gonna go have a shower. Shower off all this sweat. I'm pooped. <laughs> um, that's the end of my uni day. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna eat my dinner and then oh, watch YouTube, organize all this footage. It's gonna be a lit Friday night. I hope this insight into my life was interesting. Let me know if you liked it or if you hated it. I can take it. People say that when you get hate comments is when you know that you've made it, so. Just kidding, please don't. Okay, bye. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>